Hey everybody, Sterling Freeman here, creator of Little Dreamers Character Art and teacher on OutSchool. Today we're going to be learning how to draw Optimus Primal from the movie Transformers Rise of the Beast, and we're going to have a whole lot of fun. And so I know you're excited to hop right into the video, so if you got your pencil and papers ready, let's get started. Before we get started, I do want to say that we're going to be going a little bit fast on the drawing, but you're welcome to pause the video at any point to catch up on steps and draw at your own pace. With that being said, let's get started. All right, so to start our Optimus Primal drawing, we want to start by just making a regular gorilla. So let's start with the head by making a curve right here. And then we want to make sure that this side is a little longer than this one so that we can make a little cheek right here. Then we got a flat chin. And we're going to come up right here. Yeah. All right. We got a little curve leading over this way. And then we have big shoulder and we're going to make a slant right here for a gorilla's big arm and then we're going to make a curve right here all right let's connect that right here at the end and then we're going to make the hand by coming down and we're just going to make a couple of little knuckles right here and then we'll bend the palm of the hand right there. We're going to skip down a little bit from the head and make the chest muscle right there. And then we got the rest of the torso there. And now we can make our other arm, which is going to look a little smaller because it's further away. but still a pretty big arm. So we're gonna make a curve for the shoulder. Let's go ahead and come down right here. We're gonna make our line going across for the wrist. And then we're gonna come up. And then we got a curve right there. And then as we make this hand, it looks a little shorter than this one, but we can make our separate little knuckles. Then for the back of the body, we're going to swoop down here and then we're going to make a leg. And this leg is a little farther away because it's at the back of the body, so it also looks a little smaller. I will slant up right there. And then we make our foot by slanting here, making a heel here. And we're just going to make some toes, two, three, and four. You might see a little bit of a foot over here, but you'll pretty much only see like the back of the leg and maybe some of the heel. And that's going to give us a basic gorilla shape. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go in and add the most important parts of just, you know, a recognizable gorilla like the face and then certain muscles and then we are going to add in extra lines to help it look mechanical so starting with the nose we got the two nostrils right there with the little curves under them and then we got our frown with a little line for a bottom lip under it. And then we're gonna go over to the side a little bit and we'll slant up here. And then we're gonna slant pretty wide right here. Right above the nose, we have our rectangle that's in the middle of the head. And from under that, we got the brow that here and here. And then we're going to do the same thing for the other side. This one will actually connect to the end of this line. And 
and then the eyes don't have any pupils because they're just little lights but we'll make those eyes there we got a little chin guard here and we're gonna slant and make this little piece for the bottom of the face we can connect a little line right there and we'll have another connector piece right here at the top of the head all right now to make the arms look robotic basically all you got to do is just separate each muscle so if we have our shoulder muscle right here we'll do the same on this side we got our bicep right there and then we got the back of his arm and his forearm so we're just kind of sectioning those off so right now it looks like armor but these are actually going to be the different pieces that are coming together that are put together to make the robot so we got that piece there. We have a little bit of a section on the thigh. And then we're going to make one that comes around the ankle. And then squares on the hands. Also on the feet. And then we can't forget that extra little thumb, since gorillas have thumbs on their feet, that extra little piece there. We're going to make our line in the middle of the chest. And then we'll slant this part and make a little piece in the middle with a circle here. And we'll add a couple extra lines just to make this look a little more mechanical. All right. Then the last thing to add is the hair. So we're going to add an extra section on the shoulders here. And then we're going to add some bristles. And right now it looks kind of weird, but as you color, this will start to blend in and just show like a little bit of something called texture which will show that it's a different material than just regular metal. All right. And once you got that, you actually have this little piece here. And once you have that, you have your Optimus Primal. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get ready to color our drawings so we can grab our color pencils, crayons, and markers and have some fun. All right, and there we have it. So I hope you had a lot of fun drawing Optimus Primal with me today. I definitely had a lot of fun drawing it with you and look forward to seeing you in the next video. Now, if you want more opportunities to improve on your drawing skills and learn with me in real time, you can check out my Little Dreamers character art classes on OutSchool through the links below. But until then, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.